every day. She's, if, if we're on the beach, she's on the beach. She hasn't missed a day. I've been uh, a lifeguard at Scarborough Beach since uh, 1972. This is something uh, new. I talked with my business partners about it and it was just another tool to use with the lifeguards. Right now she's down here to meet the people to, so that she's used to people. We don't want um, people to be scared of her and we don't want her to be scared of people. The lifeguards are giving her basic training right now which is just normal sit and uh, commands like that. By her interacting with the people she's become really calm about it and she likes to see the people. If you see her up on the stand right now she's not she's comfortable staying up there. She's not looking to get off it. It's inherent in them to help when they see someone in trouble. You hear a lot of stories about people that have Newfoundlands and they, the kids will go in the water and they go in after them. It's the way the Newfies swim that is different than all other dogs. They don't swim the dog paddle, they swim like this. And those paws go out to the side and the size of those paws, they're moving water. She won't go in on her own. To make rescues, she will go in with a lifeguard. And when the lifeguard gets to the people in the water, uh, the newfie will know enough, or Beacon will know enough to uh, turn around and start heading in, and they will grab onto her vest. And the lifeguard will too, and she will tow them in. They can, at full size, she'll be 120 to 130 pounds and she would be able to tow a boat or six people. It usually takes, they say, almost two years to train one. I think people will enjoy seeing her there every day and doing her job.